All right, so I dragged it off the lift, away from the lift anyway, and uh, got one of the braces put in. Uh, I had one clamped across the back, one clamped across the top, and leveled it the best I could, and then uh, took one of them apart, one of those uh, staging uh, cross braces, and just pretty much did the same thing that a, a staging cross brace does, which is make a cross a, across the back of it. So that'll keep them, you know, from racking from side to side. And uh, now I'm going to go and do probably two more, I think straight across, and would probably be my best bet. So I'm going to do one across the bottom, a, a little forward of say where that, um, that post is coming down, the spoke. I'll do one across the bottom, and maybe probably one right across here, just enough so that the, the chair can't swing into it. Should be my, uh, my best option. And then as far as uh, making the chocks for the wheel, I think I'm going to go with the 4x4s and, and cutting the curves in them. Uh, for the simple fact of trying to transport this thing would be a bitch. And um, if I do it that way, I could actually uh, disassemble the seat part of it and just roll the whole thing right to where I want it and then roll it up on the blocks uh, where it's going to go in the yard. And in the future, it allows me to, I could take it and tweak it a little bit and clock it forward or back. Say if we want the, the pitch of the seat, say maybe leaning a little bit further back, we can do that or forward or whatnot. So it gives some adjustability uh, to it in the future. So uh, continuing on, I'm going to go get some uh, two more steel supports put in it. And then it should be pretty stout. If, uh, if not, we'll add a little bit more. But I think that should do it. All right, I got all my parts made, I believe. Didn't I just got to take it all apart and clean it. Last thing I did was uh, made a couple of saddles uh, out of some uh, 4x4s and just kind of contoured to the... Uh, the wheel and they're of course going to go on the bottom and that's what's going to keep it from kind of rolling away and I figure I'll probably drill two holes down below and I'll just run some uh, wood screws and I'll run a screw in there and a, a screw in there to uh, keep it you know tied to the wheel once we uh, find our uh, proper location so to speak as far as when it's planted and if I feel like it's um, it wants to like roll out of the saddle I'll extend the back side of it a little bit, uh, either with uh, some angle. Maybe I'll run angle down both sides of it. Just make it a little bit longer, but I have a feeling that's probably going to support it pretty good. It's uh, two feet wide. You know. But we'll see. If, if I push on it and I feel like it wants to, to tilt back, I'll extend that ass in a little bit more. So now we get to go and uh, take the wood apart start seeing and, and uh, this part's pretty good already it's not terrible you kind of want to like roll the edges and stuff so your shirt and stuff doesn't get stuck on it but this goes through a uh, debarker so it's kind of rough and choppy you know I, I kind of like the look but it has to be knocked down a little bit for again like you know you gotta put your arm on the back of it you're gonna be stabbing yourself to death so I want to knock all that off of there so that's it time to uh, Probably what I'm gonna do, probably should just leave it right together. It'd probably be easier just holding it up in the air to sand it. Maybe kinda. Or maybe take the, the six screws out of it, put it on the bench with like a blanket. Start sanding, yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll take one apart at a time. And to put it on a blanket, sand it, and then I have some sealant somewhere and a phone call coming in. So uh, let me get the getting. I can resist. I put the blocks underneath it. Just want to check and make sure everything is okay before I dig in. But I think it's, uh, it's pretty good. I think it'll be just fine. And I think uh, three skinny people should be good at two fat people. Two moderately sized people, let's put it that way. I think I was afraid of it's uh, going to be a little bit too high. I can kind of flat foot it, but there's nothing saying that um, the dirt where the pieces of wood go. Uh, I can't just, I could sink it down however I want. You know? I can change the height of uh, where they are, sink it into the ground, and uh, probably be good to have that piece of metal probably touching the ground. That way you're not kind of flubbering over it. Actually, I don't even think your feet get close to it. 
if you put your feet, you can barely touch it. You wouldn't touch it, you're not gonna. Nah, nah it's fine. We're good, we got enough side to side. I mean, if you really rock it, it'll hit. But uh, for the most part, you're just gonna be doing the old lady deal. The old lady swing like that. So I have to cut all these back. Good. Now it's seen. All right, just for uh, shits and giggles, I'm gonna try um, a flapper disc that's made for uh, metal. Because I think a regular one is gonna be uh, not contorting enough. Trying to figure out what the, the grain, 40 grit. Let's see what. The, let's see how that does. For knocking down some of the stabbers. Looks like it's gonna do just fine. I don't want to get rid of all of it, so I, I kind of want you to still be able to see it, but again, be able to rub your hand over it without, you know, without, without that. The end grain kind of getting you. So yeah, I'm gonna go, uh, at least go do all the, the edges of that first, and then uh, see what the centers of it I could probably do with a regular like palm sander. Here yeah, I went till I ran out. That's the first coat. Uh, it really made the wood. I was afraid where I took, you know, I sanded this down, it was gonna look like not the side of the tree as much, but uh, that uh, worry is not much of an issue, especially up here. And I like it. So, so you're gonna get shinier and shinier from there and darker, or richer, I should say. And where did I run out? On the back. You can see where it's dry. I figure I try to stay away from that knot so I'm not kind of hitting it mid and then the bottom's not done with the of the other one yet so I gotta go get myself a quart and that should uh, be enough to hit it two more times oh yeah kind of like it with the rust too not sure what uh, we're gonna do with that. Again, I may just kind of cuff that up and uh, maybe we'll just hit it with the same varnish. Just knock the heavy stuff off, you know? We'll see. As again, it still has to come apart yet, so. All right, I'm off to the store. And the next morning, coat number two. I got the ends soaked pretty good. And then by the, the next one, they should be fine. That's where it's gonna, uh, wick up all the moisture, especially being uh, at the end where the brackets are, so that's kind of the most important spots. I just shove the bolts uh, back in it with the nuts on it to kind of give it uh, little legs to stand off. And I know I'm going to get some runs kind of like, you know, see where there's a knot and a bunch of stuff was uh, oozed into there. It'll run out, but uh, if I was perfect, I'd have to pay me more. And as far as the uh, the wheels, I think I'm going to leave the rusty part rusty. I'm going to leave the wheels rusty. I mean, just kind of hit them with a, a hand wire brush to knock off the dirt and stuff. But uh, I'm going to take the brackets off, and I will probably do the urethane on the brackets. I'll sand them down, not not so the rust is gone, but uh, just kind of clean them up. And uh, that will be after I get I have to take these apart and do all the welding. So. Uh, then I'll just seal them the kind of the same way and it'll kind of match the bench. Chains will stay rusty. And that's it. Off to breakfast. And everything's all welded up and roll it out of the way. And as I have to say, I give the brackets a coat of uh, a urethane. It kind of makes them just a little shinier. Shiny rust. And uh, I think I'm going to leave the frame and wheels like they are for now. And uh, if I feel like it later, I think I may um, 
in place, uh, you were thinking them, but we're gonna kind of see how it looks. Plus, I'm getting lazy. Call it what it is, right? And what else? Uh, coat number three is on. Looking pretty, pretty shiny. And probably uh, the first one was done this morning. And eh, probably ten o'clock. It's four o'clock now. Again, you, I kind of cuff them up in between coats, and this should be the third and final. I soaked in the ass ends of them where the uh, grain of the wood uh, really wanted to suck up moisture uh, pretty good, so they should be fine. And that's it. We're going to uh, let the fan on it all night, kind of let them uh, cure. And I think it says 24 hours before assembling or handling or whatever it, it kind of is looking for. So I actually probably, what will I do? What will I do? <laughs> I will take them and uh, probably store them in the uh, little garage or the tank garage or something for a good couple of days. Today is Friday and uh, I'm gonna give it to on Tuesday. So that gives me, yeah, two or three days just let them kind of cure up nice. And um, the frame can roll just like it is. I can just kind of roll it right into place and then I will reassemble it and just make it that much easier to do so instead of trying to put it together and then drag the stupid thing because it probably weighs about 300 pounds so that's it and uh I'll turn you back on when uh that time gets co comes closer all right it's moving day for it and as you can see it's a little shinier i ended up lacquering it up anyway So I gotta hang it from the bucket. We would use this to be probably the best way to move it around without uh, really scratching up the the wheels too bad on the gravel. Do a nice slow crawl. get her all set up and into place and uh, put together and we'll turn you back on. Well, I had it in there, but the only problem was it was so tight that uh, all you could see was the wood in the front. You couldn't see any of the wheels. So I went for plan B or C and uh, stuck it over in this bed over here, which needs to be cleaned up. And uh, I'm leaving that for somebody else. <laughs> but uh, that's it, she's in there. The only thing I have to do is come back and trim the studs. These guys need to be kind of cut down, cut down, and just kind of taken out of play. You can see how much room I got on that guy. Yeah, just go in there and slice them off. Slice, get that guy and slice that off, just so the chains are out of the way. But should make for a nice rocker, I think. That came out just fine. I do. So it should weather a little bit and you know kind of get a little bit more less shiny. But uh, I was going back and forth between leaving it rusty, going in with the lacquer, or painting them black. And I kind of like the uh, the lacquer kind of darkens it up a little bit, kind of goes a little bit towards more of the black, but at the same token gives it that um, aged. Feeling, especially after it gets to be a couple of years old, you know, it'll just look like it's something that's a hundred years old. 
Which it is, kind of, sort of. Here we are. I know I'm coming. <laughs> you make me a bench? Is that what you mean? Is you the only thing I want to make you a bench? Oh, you did make me a bench! Holy shit, honey! Oh my god! That must have been more expensive than... But? <laughs> wow! Where'd you get that? Would I get it? I made it. I know, but where'd you get these things? Wow! So you bought this... It's like a swing bench. This! It's a lumber, uh, lumber yard in... Uh... That must have cost a lot of money. That's bad. Oh my god, this is going to last for a long time. <laughs> Good Santa. Wow, that's pretty awesome. Let's go my plants. Wait. Oh, I love it. And you had these already? No, I bought those. Oh my god, honey, so you you really went crazy. Wow. I have a little bit more tweaking to do on it, but uh, you get the general idea. Wow. Well, that's a bench. That's a bench, yeah. <laughs> Are you video 